Hi everyone, hope you're keeping safe. Um, uh, it's 8.30, well, it's 8.23 in the evening, local time here in the UK. I'm just running FT8 on 40 meters. Um, putting out about 200 watts. Um, and um, I've been going about 10 minutes. 10 or 15 minutes and 235 reception reports thus far um, my signal is getting out uh, across to North America obviously across Europe what I'm really interested in though is um, is whether anybody in the Ukraine is monitoring obviously the situation there is awful um, and they've probably got better things to do but um, I read somewhere, well, actually, I was talking to a guy, um, a Scottish guy who lives in Valencia on, um, on, I think it was 40 metres, maybe 80 metres, a few days ago. He said that um, all ham radio operators or all ham radio, amateur radio operations in Ukraine have been suspended for a month, um, which sort of makes sense. But um, it just occurred to me tonight that um, whether anybody would be monitoring on FT8. Um, there's been a couple of, how can I put it, uh, indiscreet sort of messages um, regarding the Russian leader on here. Um, I won't bother showing you what it is because uh, you can kind of guess. Um, and I haven't been going very long. As I said, I've been going maybe 10 or 15 minutes, but um, you can see here with 249 reception reports into Moscow and uh, further afield into Russia, down into the Middle East, um, yeah, not one single monitor in the Ukraine, so um, I'm sure they've got better things to do, but um, yeah, I just wondered whether anybody was sat in front of a radio or not. They probably are waiting for the news of what's going on, I'm sure, but um, yeah, no uh, no FT8 monitors on 40 metres in, uh, in the Ukraine, so um, it's a terrible situation there. Obviously, I've been following what's going on the past few days, devastating. Uh, literally can't believe it's happened. Uh, I don't want to get political, so I won't. Um, obviously, what a shame it happened in the first place. Um, yeah, uh, it's unbelievable, really, that this is happening in Europe in the 21st century. But um, uh, And I don't think I really need to state my position on it. Um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, I just hope that it's over as soon as possible with the least amount of casualties um but it's yeah it's looking it's it's looking quite scary because obviously um putin's kind of making references to his nuclear arsenal etc um which you know that's pretty scary stuff um as if the situation in ukraine wasn't scary enough um for those people there so uh yeah i hope it's over very very soon um but uh yeah as far as ham radio is concerned no activity uh no voice activity um and as far as fg8 is concerned obviously no transmitting and uh but also no monitoring so uh, so there you go anyway peace to everybody uh keep safe everybody 73